Hi there, uh, I'm Dr. Jamuna Raghuraman. I'm a specialist pediatrician with uh, DMMC Karama. So today I'm going to speak to you on uh, recurrent respiratory infections in children. So we often see parents uh, bringing their children with a history of fever, cough and cold and this happens on a regular basis. So you can have three age groups of children who can present with these complaints. So children between the ages of three to five years, from five to eight years and the adolescent age group who could come with these kind of symptoms. So today I'm going to speak to you on children between the ages of three to five years who come with recurrent respiratory infections. So these are preschool children who just started attending the nursery. So naturally they are being exposed to the outer world of children of the same age group. So they are prone for infections. Most of these are viral infections. Most of them are upper respiratory infections. Having said that, there are a few of them who could have bacterial infections, lower respiratory infections. Some of them could also have something serious as pneumonia. So it's important for you to visit your doctor to know what this particular episode is about. So during your visit, so we assess the condition of your child and we help you with a lot of medications that could ease many of your children's complaint. The most important of this is the fever which could make you very anxious and it makes your child again very uncomfortable. So these fevers could last for about three to five days. They could be very high grade. So you should know the right kind of medicine to use, how often to use and how long to use. So these are informations that you would receive during your visit. And you will be able to manage many of your child's complaints in addition to the fever, that is the cough and the nasal condition, which is usually an association. So during your visit, we also try to give you a lot of information regarding what is the kind of diet your child should have. So this is always a concern in children who are sick again and again. So what is the food that your child should have? Some of the, uh, the foods can actually worsen the situation. Some of them can actually help your child also in getting better. So this information you would receive during your visit. The sec third thing is that we also look at your vaccination card. Now this is important because we should see if your child has having vaccinated for serious infections. The fourth thing is that there's always a concern. Is my child growing normally during these infections, recurrent infections? So we will be looking at the growth charts and if there is any kind of a faltering, we would suggest some remedial measures. Then there are a few other of children who may be having something other than the age which is making them prone to recurrent infections. So this is something which we would be specifically looking for children who come for recurrent infections. So there's a lot of information that you would be receiving when you come with your children. Then coming to the second group of children who actually tend to wheeze during these infections. So this is yet another response to the same kind of viral infections that the children come with. So wheezing is a word that you would have heard it from your doctors. This is a characteristic sound that is produced when children breathe through the blocked airways. So this is what your child, the doctor will be able to auscultate when he listens to your child's chest. So these children need a more detailed evaluation. So they could present with a particularly troublesome kind of a cough and sometimes they could also be breathless, breathing more number of times. So when you bring these children, so we will tell you what kind of medication can ease these complaints because the child could become breathless or start coughing even in the middle of the night. It need not happen only in the mornings. So these medications when administered even by you at home can help your child's complaints. So uh, there are a few children who continue to have these complaints of cough and wheezing even after the infection has gone. So they are children who we call as persistently symptomatic children. So they can be identified and we could also suggest medications so that they don't have these symptoms recurrent. And many of the medications can even prevent these acute attacks. So having known these children and the natural course of the disease, we could say that most of these children are going to outgrow these problems and actually we are helping you in the process of it. So these children start being adjusted to their new lifestyle in the nursery and we aim at reducing the absenteeism from the nursery and see that these children don't get these acute attacks. 
So I hope on seeing this video you have got some useful tips. Um, so I am available at Aster uh, Karama. So for any of the queries related to recurrent infections, you can visit me at uh, uh, Aster DMC Karama. Thank you very much.